And Richard Southern joins us for our daily business chat. And Richard, Greta Thunberg is trading shots with U.S. politicians, but this time it's not Donald Trump. No, it's the U.S. Treasury Secretary, Trump's Treasury Secretary, Melissa, uh, Stephen Mnuchin. Uh, he was asked by reporters today about what Greta is calling for. She wants the public and private sectors to divest from fossil fuels, to get rid of the fossil fuels altogether. So um, Mnuchin, he was asked about that, what the impact would be. And he says, quote, is she the chief economist or who is she? I'm confused. Now, after she goes and studies economics in college, she can come back and explain that to us. Well, Amala, so that had uh, Greta responding quickly on her Twitter, saying, quote, my gap year ends in August, but it doesn't take a college degree in economics to realize that our remaining one and a half degree carbon budget and ongoing fuel subsidies and investments don't add up. So it got me to thinking, you know, if we do follow what Greta's asking to get rid of the investments in fossil fuels, what type of impact would it have on the economy? And what type of impact will climate change have on the economy? I asked one of Canada's top economists, Doug Porter, with the Bank of Montreal. If there was a worldwide move, a serious worldwide move to really shun fossil fuel producers, that would hurt Canada's economy much more than the U.S. Is climate change itself, though, a threat to the global economy? If there is no change in policy whatsoever, there's a wide range of estimates as to what it would do to the economy, but it's pretty safe to say that it would be negative over time. Anywho, um, Mnuchin getting some flack online for going after Greta. She's mm. a young child, but anyway, so you go. Some shots fired. Yeah. Well, Richard, work can be obviously a little stressful, and scientists are now narrowing in on the link between stress and turning our hair white. I might need some Just for Men uh, gel before you know it, uh, Melissa, oh because <laughs> <laughs> some grays coming in. It's true. Uh, stressed out at work, uh, it will make you turn gray. Uh, research at Harvard University found the same fight or flight response uh, that makes you know run or freeze or whatever. It also causes permanent damage to the cells responsible for producing gray hair. So when you have repeated stress, like we do when we're at the office working away, it can indeed conclusively now result in you going gray. That though, Melissa, may be the least consequential thing of workplace stress because other studies have found it causes heart trouble and heart attacks and all those terrible things as well. You know, I think that's more reason to get an office dog. I'm just saying. We need a newsroom puppy. Right? Right? Let's campaign for that. <laughs> You'll hear some barking in the background. It's, it's, all, <laughs> it's all fun. And we all heard the saying, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but apparently that's not the case any longer, Richard. They're ditching that very famous slogan, maybe the most famous slogan for any city. Um, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, being replaced now with what happens here only happens here. It's kind of toned down a little bit. They're going to uh, show that off during an ad during the uh, Grammy Awards, which will air right here on City TV. Uh, the goal, the tourist board in Vegas says, is to show people how Vegas has transformed itself into a big entertainment capital rather than kind of a seedy place where you don't want people to know what you're doing. And it's true if you've been to Vegas, mm -hmm. you know, it really is all about the top-notch restaurants and the shows and less so about you know, the seediness. That's kind of a thing of the past in Vegas. These days. So I guess we're no longer calling it Sin City, or are we? No, it's, you know, it's expensive city. You go for your, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> your, your tasting menu from Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. That's what it's all about now in Vegas. Which is delicious. And Absolutely. finally, Richard, will it be seeing change at the gas pumps tonight? Yes, a delicious change. We're going down two pennies uh, tonight at the gas pumps, Melissa. Stay tuned. You and I are back just a little bit after 6.30. A Toronto restaurant chain that you're very familiar with is offering wedding packages for Valentine's Day. Stick around. You won't want to miss that. Sounds good. Well, thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you soon. Thanks.